Hey, what's good? I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Today, I'm going to teach you the real secrets to mastering the crossover. Now, every player wants to make the crowd ooh and ah with a shifty, unstoppable crossover. But what a lot of players don't realize is that they're doing things wrong when they're practicing them and when they're executing them in a real game. So today, what I want to do is give you an in-depth breakdown to make sure you're mastering your own crossover. But before we jump into it, this video is brought to you by my guys over at Victory Performance Insoles. Victory is a revolutionary insole technology that helps athletes run faster, jump higher, and train smarter. Whether you're looking to increase your performance or enhance your injury protection, Victory Insoles are the perfect product. Made out of premium materials, like aerospace grade carbon fiber. They give athletes better shock absorption and even better energy return for spring and bounce. All right, so for shop mechanics viewers, they're running a special where if you click the top link in the description down below, you're gonna get $50 off instantly if you use the coupon code SHOP MECHANICS. And for anybody who purchases, I'm gonna give a free copy of my custom shot design, my one of a kind revolutionary shooting system to help every athlete find their perfect jump shot. And we're gonna make it even better for you. So if you click the second link in the description down below, you're gonna get free instant access to my explosive score or workout. This is a workout I put together specifically to help you become more explosive each and every single time you step onto the court. And it's brought to you by my guys over at Victory Performance Insole. Now, when we're thinking about crossovers, the most important thing that a lot of people don't realize is tempo change, right? The, the, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of young players make is they think that going fast is always better, right? They think fast equals better, but that's not actually true. If you look at a lot of the best, you know, players with handles and crossovers, guys like Kyrie Irving and Steph Curry and Kevin Durant and a lot of those guys, most all of them use tempo to throw off the defense, right? So instead of Kyrie just going pop, 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 pop and hitting a bunch of dribbles super fast, instead he's setting up tempo where he's going slow to fast, he's raising his shoulders, he's looking at the rim, he's getting his defender up and down because that joystick mentality of going left, right, forward, back, sideways, sideways with different speeds is what really throws off the defenders, right? I've guarded a lot of players in my day and the ones who are fast aren't necessarily hard to guard because you know what they're gonna do, you know where they're gonna go. The players that are hardest to guard are the ones that dictate tempo, make you stop, make you go, make you kind of go herky-jerk on defense. Those are the ones that are really tough to guard. So think about anytime you're mastering your handle, anytime you're working on your crossover, don't just work on one speed. Don't just sit there and pound the ball back and forth as fast as you can. Really work on you know crossing over and then hanging it and then going and hanging it and going, right? If you can work on that tempo, you're gonna be a lot harder to guard, you're gonna be a lot more shifty, and I promise you, you're gonna have a lot more ankle breakers as well. All right, so the next thing that can absolutely explode your crossover has nothing to do with dribbling the basketball and has nothing to do with the actual handles, and it's this. Sell your dribble moves with your eyes. The eyes tell the story that the defender is going to read. So if I'm getting ready to cross over and I wanna cross over to the middle, if I set up a crossover and I'm looking right there, the defender knows exactly where I'm going. I'm staring right at my path, right? But if I go to hit a crossover and I throw my eyes this direction, What's the defender gonna do? It looks like I'm going this way, they're gonna slide to cut me off. That way when I whip it, I'm going by them. So think about you know, a crossover and to really have a shifty crossover, it's more like playing chess than it is playing checkers. You've gotta set it up one move ahead. So if I'm getting ready and I know I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna quick crossover, push to the outside, I might throw my eyes to the inside before I cross over going back the opposite direction. So really think about, and anytime you're working on your crossover or working on your ball handles, think about selling your eyes in the direction of the initial dribble, not the direction that you're going on the crossover. If you can do that, you're gonna automatically have a much more impactful crossover because the defense is gonna jump on it every single time. All right, so the next hidden secret to a crossover is what we call ball control. Basically meaning that as an elite level ball handler, you've gotta be able to control the basketball in 360 degrees around your body, right? So what a lot of players do is they'll work on their handles and they'll, they'll do their crossovers and they'll do their figure eights and they'll do all their you know dribbling drills and all that sort of stuff, but they don't really work on that 360 degree control at all levels. So basically an elite level ball handler can control the basketball in 360 degrees all around their body at any height. So from your ankle height all the way up to your shoulder height. So when you're training and working on your crossover, really work on these different levels and work on this 360 degrees. If I'm working on my crossovers, I might work on hanging it back out here by my shoulder and then crossing it back through. I might work on putting it back at a funky angle behind my legs and then wrapping it behind my back, right? If you can work on that 360 degree control, it doesn't matter where the ball bounces, you're always gonna be able to make a play off of it. So work on that ball control and that's gonna help you out too. All right, so now it's time for the secret sauce. I'm gonna give you three drills to help you absolutely take your crossover to the next level because we're gonna work on tempo, we're gonna work on ball control, and we're gonna work on all the things we did in this video. So the very first drill is what we call in and out lateral crossover. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna sit stationary somewhere, you're gonna hit a roll dribble or an in and out where you're breaking the center line of your body, you're gonna hit it once, you're gonna hang, throw your eyes, stab your foot, whatever you wanna do, and then laterally cross over and bound the opposite direction. Now we're doing the same thing, in and out, throw my eyes, crossover bound. Each time, oh, throw my eyes, oh, opposite direction, hitting that going back and forth. 
Really work on tempo with this one. This is a great one to work on that tempo change and really make sure you're ha, ha, getting that defender moving, going back and forth. All right, so with in and out crossovers, we work side to side. Now we're gonna go in and out pullbacks where we're working forward to backward. So it looks like this. We're starting the exact same. We're going in, in and out, but this time I'm pushing my in and out forward, stabbing a foot, and then I'm yanking it back, just like that. Next one, I'm rolling in and out forward, yanking it back. Really working on that tempo. See my shoulder height? As I throw it, my shoulders are going down. Now they're going up, down, up, right? That down up of shoulders is really gonna help you get that tempo. Really throw the ball out, throw your head with it, try to do a little shimmy with your head. That's gonna get the defender moving as well. So this time, instead of going sideways, we're going downhill, 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 downhill. Get you moving in all directions. All right, so last time we used an in and out going forward to yank it back. Now we're gonna use an in and out to get space backwards and then push it forward with a behind the back. So it looks like this. Before we were rolling in and out forward and yanking it. Now we're gonna use an in and out to pull backwards to get space and then we're gonna throw behind the back going the opposite direction. From here we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna throw my shoulders, throw my eyes. I'm gonna in and out back. Then I'm gonna go behind the back forward. In and out back, behind the back forward. Again, we wanna add some pause, add some tempo. Add a little bit of hesitation back there. So as I hit this in and out, I don't just want to throw it behind my back as soon as I can. I want to in and out, hezzy, get the defense to close the space, ooh, and then go behind the back going that direction. If you can do that, we're going on 360 degree control. You'll be a master at ball handling. All right, if this video helped you out, hit that like button, then head to the comment section down below. Let me know what sort of video you wanna see next. And don't forget, if you're ready to explode your athletic performance, check out the top link description down below and get your pair of Victory Performance insoles today. Again, I love them. I feel more springy every time I put them in my shoes, and you will too. And don't forget, if you wanna get better, click the second link in the description down below and get free instant access to our explosive score workout brought to you by my guys over at Victory Performance insoles. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.